Hello, welcome to our quick preview of the Smart Safety Signs CD. This is uh, version 2 of the product. The product itself has been around for quite some years and it does comply to Australian standards. And in this version we've added a few um, symbols. All of these symbols are in vector format so you can actually use them to cut or obviously in any piece of artwork. Uh, we've kept this low res, you can download it on the same page you're on now. And um, there's just a general bit of information about when it was first published and all of the normal, you're welcome to register if you want to. This is the page of uh, contents and details that are on there. And um, the PDF form just makes it quicker and easier. So each sign gives you a bit of an overview of, of the area that um, is best used uh, for that type of sign. It tells you the sizes that we've included them in, 200 by 150 and 300 by 200, 400 by 300 and 600 by 450. So they're available in vector files in a few different formats and also as a image. Um, so if you're using them in a vector format, obviously when you download them from the uh, CD file, you can actually break them apart and move them, move them around and change them. And you can see we've set them up in multiple lines, so it gives you an idea how to lay them out. And there's also some layouts or words in one line, three lines, etc., two lines that you can just drop into, so they're the standard wording that you can drop in. And the same goes for warning signs. Uh, you've got your standard blank sign and then same sizing. And then you've got all the, the suggested common titles that you could use with the little icons. These icons can be replaced. And that's one of the reasons we've added the 200 icons. Uh, people have um, suggested some. There's the more traditional looking uh, caution and warning signs that these don't comply to the Australian standard, but they're very popular in the workplace keep on working through those titles, save you a little bit of typing if you want to cut and paste them into position. And then the prohibition sign obviously comes with a blank and then you can drop your symbols in them. So your symbols would be no smoking or no thoroughfare or the hand symbol, etc. Um, or, or any one of these symbols. So that there's a lot of those symbols as we get to the end of the page, I'll show you those. So mandatory, same story. Um, they're uh, available to Indicator instruction that must be carried out, that's why it's mandatory. Um, so you can have a look through those. Uh, you've got your blank one, and then you've got all the common suggested titles. Emergency, uh, we've just put a green blank there, and you can drop your symbol inside, and then there's the, the standard range of emergency ones all ready to go to use to your printer or directly as a, um, uh, a cut when you're cutting them out in a vinyl cutter or the like. And although the resolution here is of low res, uh, the reason would be the, f the file size of this document would be huge. So we've produced a low res document, but the resolution in the final one is uh, a, a very high resolution. It's vector format. So then your standard fire signs. Um, again, they can all be pulled apart and broken apart. So if you just need a fire alarm bell, you can use the fire alarm bell. Then there's a notice signs. Note these notice signs don't comply to Australian 1319 because there's nothing in the category for that. But um, they're very popular in the workplace for giving instructions of cleaning up or whatever. So there's some standard titles and we put these in in like up to six line format that you can drop them away. And then there's a whole range of general signs that we found uh, people were finding popular. Um, and uh, it just gives you a bit of an idea from a layout. You can just drop and paste them in. It makes the layout for a sign very quick and easy. There's some uh, planner board layouts there. And um, then there's a few of the Australian traffic signs. These, again, are traffic signs, so they don't apply to the safety sign format. But in many occasions, they will be used in a workshop like uh, or an area, particularly the one way for direction around factories and parking and that sort of instruction. Uh, there's a whole range of dangerous goods signs, same story, you can cut and paste the, the details and wording into there and use the labels. And these are the new, uh, there's a couple of hundred of these um, uh, symbols, so if you if there was a prohibition sign with no dog walking, there's a dogs on a leash type thing, so you can just drop them in. There's some general ones for uh, sporting complexes and um, disabled ramps and a whole range of those. Then there's some hospital and emergency ones. Um, and food and recreation, snow change for down the snow or yeah, restaurants, cups of tea, roadside stops, that sort of thing. Then there's a few recreational type ones for all sorts of different sporting events. As I mentioned, there's a couple of hundred in total and they're all vectorized so you can use them to cut uh, profiles out or print on a normal printer. And there's quite a few in safety. We collected this range from people asking us, oh, 
you know, they would like this added to our CD. So we've listened to the market there and, and added them in the whole range through transport. And then there's a uh, the copyright information and the standards information. And if you want any tech support about how to install it, there's a bit of info, info on there. But uh, you can see it's quite a comprehensive um, um, manual. And uh, feel free, the, our contact page is at the, at the end of the um, website. So give us a call and uh, hope we can help you with it. Thank you.